I'm in Barendrecht for the half marathon today. Uh, had to park away quite a bit uh, from where the start and finish line is. So uh, I have to walk there now, I have about 10 minutes left. So let's go. Barendrecht is uh, just outside of Rotterdam and uh, a lot of people see this as their training run for the Rotterdam Marathon which is in a couple of weeks so that's why you also see a lot of people already wearing the Rotterdam Marathon shirts today. We're getting into a, a greener area now on the outskirts of Barendrecht. We'll be running here for a little bit and then circling back to the, to the center. I'm actually not that familiar with Barendrecht. Uh, the only times I actually go here is to go to the IKEA. They have a big IKEA here. And I don't think I've been here any other time. Oh, except for the baby store. They have a big baby store here as well. So when uh, Kiara is pregnant uh, of Zane, we went there a couple of times. I believe they have four distances today, uh, 5K, 10K, a uh, half marathon, and a 30K. And spread out over all four events, they have a thousand runners. The half marathon and the 30K is running at the same time. I'm not sure how many runners this is, but we got a, a nice group together here. The Berlin Marathon is today. I have a bunch of friends running, so I'm tracking that on the app. Some of us already ran it. <laughs> I started out with the back of the pack, wanting to take it easy, also because it was late. <laughs> but uh, uh, it's also a training run for me. So even though I kind of want to take it easy, it's hot out. I also need to see this as a training run and the distance is already uh, shorter than I'm supposed to run according to my training plan so I need to pick up the pace just a little bit. With races like this, I always love seeing all the people wearing their uh, race shirts, seeing uh, what races people ran before. Uh, this weekend was supposed to be a run weekend in Disneyland Paris, so I'm uh, sporting my uh, Disneyland Paris shirt. Uh, I've seen a lot of different races already. It's fun to see. Okay, we just had the split for the half and the 30K. Uh, I'm happy now that I'm doing the half, even though the 30K would actually fit my schedule more. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, I don't visit Barendrecht a lot, but it's not gonna stop me from sharing some Barendrecht facts with you. Uh, Barendrecht used to be a very small town, but uh, it grew out in the last 80 years. The beginning of the 1900s was uh, a small village with a population of 5,000 people. They now have about 49,000 people here.
This race was actually supposed to be my uh, Guinness Book of Records attempt. Uh, seeing the heat, I'm actually glad that it got, got postponed a couple of weeks. So I have some more time to train as well. Okay, we're back to the petting zoo. Before we came out here, it went out that way. Now we circle back this way, going back through. Yes, like a way. All right, I think that was uh, the first runner of the 30K that just passed me. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, the first 15K had a, a nice pace going. Now, uh, I think the, the petting zoo was the 15K mark. Taking it a little bit easier now. The, the heat is getting to me. Uh, but yeah, we're almost at the finish. Right, I'm taking it easy in the shade for a little bit. Uh, last Friday, so that's two days ago, uh, friends of mine got married and they asked me to film it. So I spent 13 hours filming with my Ronin S gimbal and my camera. That got pretty heavy after the first 30 minutes already. So after 13 hours, my body is just aching everywhere. My arms, my shoulders, uh, my chest, and my legs are okay. So I'm working on that now. <laughs> All right, back into the sun. So some more running. I wonder how my friends in Berlin are doing. Uh, check the app. <laughs> All right, it looks like uh, Michael's at 30K already, Jennifer at 25, and the rest is uh, a little bit behind them. So uh, yeah, doing good everybody. Keep it up. Already getting close to the finish, I think. I think I have about two kilometers to go. Uh, I still have the feeling that I haven't seen that much of Van the, 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 uh, uh, Mostly just the outskirts and maybe part of a, a suburb at the start. Now it's an uh, industrial area that we're running through. We're already heading back to the finish. But uh, yeah, what I've seen, it's a beautiful place to run. All right, I'm having the elite runners of the 30K passing me now, I think. Is, uh, they're, they're running way too fast to be running the half because they would have been at the finish already. So uh, yeah, they're doing pretty good. Okay, one more familiar sight of Bahnra is right behind me here, the train station. Uh, although it's been probably 15 to 20 years that I've been through the train station and it didn't look like this, but uh, yeah, I've been here before. All right, that was the first woman running the 30K. Uh, everybody's approaching the finish already. I need to pick it up. Uh, that was the water stop, the last one. So that means there's two more kilometers to go. All right, I know where I am now, because this is where I had to park my car and walk to the start. So it's not far now.
so that was the half marathon of Barendrecht. Uh, I got my medal. It's a new medal to me. It's a new race to me. I got to run in a, a new area. I got to see some familiar faces today. And yeah, race events are back. So uh, that's, that's good to see a lot of runners uh, running together. And it's getting bigger and bigger. We're going up to marathons next, uh, next month. So looking forward to that. And make sure you don't miss those videos. Subscribe down below if you want to see those videos. Until next time, get out there and run.